seven, one, two, five. Are we doing this right? Hell no. We are the world eight. We survive. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're surviving. I'm surviving. I'm trying to survive. COVID nineteen, motherfuckers. COVID nineteen. Shit. That sounds kind of pretty crazy. I'm, Especially we see on billboards and stuff. I'm guessing they're gonna start closing down because my son doesn't go to school till April thirtieth. The end of the school year is May. Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing they're just no, they are, yeah. So and I have some breaking news go that's ahead. gonna probably fuck your life up and all of our lives up. Well, actually, Eric doesn't live in Riverside anymore. You guys want to hear? Or just wait until later. No, I want to do it. So Kenny is a he's a counselor for Wells. So Kenny got a letter yesterday that the person he had his internship with, a vice principal of La Granada, got the coronavirus and he was handing out food like the free lunches to kids on the off time. So now they freaking put a um, a letter out to everyone saying uh, La Granada is closed indefinitely and then the rest of the school year is going to be done. And that's all Albert school district. Um, I don't know if that's going to extend to Riverside, but the, that, yeah, we're he, not just got that, yet. he just got that news yesterday. So it's probably going to spread like crazy. Well, that's what's weird about the news. Is so like, he might have to be quarantined. Even when I sent you guys stuff, you're like, oh, that's old. But I just received it. You know what I mean? So it's like the news is staggered somehow. Because not everyone's getting everything at the same no, time. No, the guy just pe- tested positive yesterday. No, I'm talking about the long yeah, ass text message. This about, stop trying to make this about yourself. No, I'm, ta- I'm talking about the long text message. I'm just saying about the news, though. I'm talking about little kids, and you try to make this about yourself. I'm talking about news, <laughs> like how everything's getting staggered. It's Even the selfish. long ass text message yeah, I sent you guys, you're like, oh, that was old. Obviously, this has well, been hurting you for a long time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it too personally, but. Well, it's because you don't have social media that much. You don't really go on there, and that's why. True, because that, that it, text not, message was. Going it wasn't around. like it's old, like months. It's just old at that moment because mm-hmm. it's all over social media. Yeah. And we're talking about that text that or that DM everyone got saying that we're gonna go on martial law, and they heard it from a cousin or whatever that was in. Fucking San Jose did that shit. San Jose did what? They're they're fucking shut down right now. They they got cops all over all up in the streets. Yeah, like, come? that's real shit. Like DUI yeah. checkpoint status. Huh? Yeah, because yeah. uh, one of my buddies, he's Why out though? there for work and. Uh, he was telling me that they 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 have all kinds of checkpoints and shit right now. Why though? Because I I think because they're close to San Francisco and then San Francisco has a big outbreak. Mm. I'm not too sure. I'm just guessing. But yeah, he I just told me that, that it was San Francisco a lot of was shit. the first one to shut down. Yeah, it's the a biggest lot of outbreak is is um, Washington. Well, they're also the first people first town or what is it city to let people shit on the streets. So they're just progressive. Period. What? They, they, yeah, you can walk around <laughs> naked too. Oh, yeah. As long as you have shoes on, though. Progressive. <laughs> and have a towel so you can sit down. Oh, yeah. It's weird as fuck. You Some can shit on the million. streets out there? I guess. The bums do. I guess they have an app, right? Where you can check to see where there's uh, shit on the ground. Well, that's probably just kind of like ways. Like, hey, there's cops here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's all that is. I don't think, they, I don't think someone, <laughs> was in their, someone was in their fucking, in an office somewhere. It was like, hey, let's just make an app to find shit on the ground. I would. You know how, like, you know how <laughs> disappointing it is stepping on dog shit? It, it gets stuck in your shoes. And I'm lazy as fuck, so I'll just it's run hard. through yeah, the grass. And I'm not going to sit there and just hose that shit down like and pick It'll it sit outside for a minute <laughs> until it dries. Yeah, but that's because it's in the grass. You just walk into the grass, but you're walking on the sidewalk. If you see human fucking feces and shit on the ground, you're gonna notice it. From I, far away. all the time. I had a. I don't know, time. dude. <laughs> I had a fucking dumbass coworker one time. Like I walked by his office. Oh, I remember. He this. stopped me. He's like, "Hey, hey, what's up?" And so I, I turned back. I looked in his office. Like, what's up? What's going on? He's like, "Does it smell weird in here?" I'm like. <laughs> I took a sniff. I was like, yeah, it smells like shit in here. He's like, it does, right? <laughs> He's like, I don't know where it's come from. I'm like, did you check your shoe? He's, he just stared at me for a second. He looked down. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Dude. <laughs> that's so well, that's How do you a- not check your shoe if like you smell shit? Yeah, that should be the first thing you check. <laughs> well, that's a sick ass segue to the text I get sent you guys this, earlier this week. So we made, or Melissa's dad made pasole, and everyone ate in the family. I didn't eat pasole whatsoever, but the next day at work, I shit, and it smelled exactly like pasole. <laughs> <laughs> so how does that happen? <laughs> if I didn't eat it, like, is it just somehow, like, 
It's in the air, bro. I think bro. you just fucked your brain up. I think yeah. you're just like, oh, I want it to smell like pozole. Nah. Fuck, <laughs> no. Can you say pozole one more time? Pozole. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's fucking irritating. How do you say it? Pozole. Pozole. You say pozole. <laughs> pozole. <laughs> what about... um? Oh, there's another thing, too. I was like, I bet Martin's a little bummed. This whole news about, you know, school shutting down until next year because you would have probably, like, not been held back. Because most people <laughs> <laughs> right now, if they're failing, they, they automatically pass to the next grade. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that would have worked. <laughs> no, nah, that had nothing to do with me, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> why not? I blame that on the situation at hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was going back and forth from different households. But what was funny about when Trump was speaking on that, on like forgiving or not the students not having to take like the state test, state test and shit. He's like, only the ones that will be mad are the ones that probably were studying and wanted to. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's just a lot of stupid shit. The shit that, that Tony showed me that, that kind of got me, I was like, like really fucked up. This reporter called him out. It's like, hey, why does it seem like only the rich and famous are getting these tests? And he kind of basically said, well, that's kind of how it is that's how life is <laughs> that's, how, that's how it's been I'm like well, oh, all the wild. athletes are getting all it's tested true, and everything first like like my homegirl cardi b said fucking are these motherfuckers getting paid to say this shit because a lot of people are just coming out like oh yeah i got this but they're they're fine and then they get mad followers yeah <laughs> like that's how it is with everything you have to <sighs> when tom See? hanks got it i was like damn i think that one's real though that's crazy because the simpsons Remember that uh, the movie The Simpsons when they they put a dome over the city because there was a big virus and whatever, like shit was going on. The first celebrity got sick in The Simpsons was Tom Hanks. No way, they're yep. fucking on point. They're Donald on Trump point on shit. For real. And they'll be like super on point because they have him in a in a in a tombstone. Oh no, in a fucking coffin, right? I was like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> in a coffin, right? Yeah, you seen that episode, Eric? I don't remember. Oh fuck. I forgot which one it was, but yeah, he he was in the... Or where are Simpsons at? I think Disney Plus has it, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I might have to revisit that. I don't know if the movie's on there, though. No, but the whole, Whatever, how many seasons? Fucking just like 100 that seasons. Yeah. What are they at? Dude, 50? Years know. of fucking... Or something crazy like that, right? That's one show that if I watch it again, like if even See? it's new, I still fucking... I still sit there and watch See? it. <laughs> they have his eyes all white, like how it is now. Look at it. Him, yeah, him as president. Him when he dies, like <laughs> and that scene this, right this there scene in the right elevator is it's real. It's real. That, uh, there's That's actually the Trump Towers. Yeah, the scene someone do that. <laughs> I mean, recorded that shit <laughs> when it was happening. It's crazy. The same. they get paid the big bucks. Yeah. Fucking Tom Hanks got it though. I have to say that Yamaha racing behind you guys looks fucking legit. Yeah, it looks legit. I feel like we're at a radio yeah. station right now. <laughs> <laughs> you put that up and I was a little jealous. I wanted to convince you to put it behind me. But I was like, I don't want to put it on camera too much. Yeah. I think the flag is paid. sick behind you. So how is it around? So like I was asking you earlier, you're in L.A. Yeah. Is it, so it's not as hectic as me. I thought it would be super hectic just based on the population that's there. Well, he's kind of well, like in I'm, the suburbs, yeah, I'm, too. Oh, so okay. I'm in Glendale, so it's, I don't know, it's, it's a lot calmer over there. So you're able to go to grocery stores and all yeah. that? Yeah, he lives right next to it. There, are there lines and all that? There was, yeah. There was a line at fucking Vons the other day for like an hour. Oh, yeah, you're rich. Going to Vons and shit. Well, that's the only store that's next to me. <laughs> there's that, there's Target, and then there's like a John's that's like five miles away. John's? John's Girl Pizza? Hmm? No, no what's like John's? A, it's, a, it's a store that's out there. It's a, like an Armenian store. Um, <laughs> that's weird. An Armenian store called John's. The yeah. thing. <laughs> that's like a Mexican store called Gunther or some shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gunther. Makes no sense. <laughs> well, I went, we went to, me and Melissa went to Target yesterday and it's hectic. People stare at everybody like, oh, shit, you might have this shit. I, it's I walked intense. In, I walked into Smart and Final yesterday, and, like, it's so weird to see people with masks on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah. see. Yep, I see like, that, too. Fuck? I feel like an asshole when I don't have, like, gloves or a mask on. I, I went to um, the Walgreens down the street, and um, and I was just walking through, and I was just looking for toilet paper. I was like, oh, we're going to run out soon and look for toilet paper. I, I had figured there wouldn't be any because it's late in the day. But it's funny, they have, like, this fucking Asian dude just staring at everybody, like, with a clipboard. I think he's just kind of, like, he was obviously taking, like, stock and everything, but 
I know he knew what I was looking for. There's another guy wandering around the aisles, like not going into any aisle, just like peeking. I know what he's looking for. We're all kind of just like, fuck, and just walk out. Like, nobody, a lot of people were just walking out without anything. <laughs> that's, just stereo, like one that's a stereotype. Yeah, fuck. That's a trip. The Asian like, dude doing the math. And shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't have a good rep right now, too. <laughs> so last week it was my little brother's birthday, and we went out to eat. Went to um, IHOP. IHOP, and um, damn, hit the fucking restaurants before they were closed, huh? Yeah, it was. It was like the, in the deadline midst of it, dude. Like was everyone, it? it was on what Saturday, right? It was before California shut down. Yeah, it was before LA shut down, but San Francisco had already shut down. So and, it was and, uh, serious. right next door, there's a little store that sells water, and there was this dude outside, kind of like. Talking to the owner or the person that lives in there, like, hey, can I get some water? He had like, a little jug. I didn't hear the full conversation Alex did, mm -hmm. but I heard him say, like, oh, we're out. But yeah, so basically, I was walking up and I saw some guy, it was like a younger guy, uh, roll out with like a five gallon jug he's putting in his car. So as I'm walking up, I noticed two things. The, the, cause it was one of those places, those water places where you could fill up your five gallon jugs. Mm -hmm. So the two pumps both set out of order. And then, the like the like the Indian dude was closing the door. He was about to close, and um, this black guy goes up to him with a small jug. He's like, "Hey man," he's like, "Can you fill this up? I know you got more in the back." And he's like, "Oh no, I'm out. I have no more." He's like, "I just saw the guy walk out with some. I know you got some." He's like, "I'm willing to pay extra. Like, I'll do whatever it takes." Oh no, sorry, sorry. Like, I'm like, damn. Like, it was that to that point. It was weird. It was just yeah. weird to see. Like we both looked at each other. It was like a surreal moment. We're just like. We're, we're over here walking our happy asses to IHOP and shit like nothing's happening. Yeah. And this guy's over here really thinking about like fucking surviving because he has no water. And I was just like, fuck. I sat there and I was like, but, that was fucking weird, huh? But what's it? Why not drink the water out of your faucet? You, you see, a lot of people like, don't do tap water because there's yeah, a lot of chlorine. Well, now you water. fucking have to do it. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, come on. Like, I've been drinking tap water for fucking years. So. Yeah. Just, just like, so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm, especially when I'm super, uh, if I drank that night and I'm super drunk at any hotel or anything, or even at the house, I don't want to yeah. walk all the way downstairs. So I just go in the fucking bathroom tap and just water. drink water. Yeah, I've done that. I do the same fucking yeah. shit. As long as it's cold, that shit tastes fine. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, it, I'm weird about that too, though. Even with the filter, we have a filter and I still feel like iffy about it. But bro, we've been. No, I you drink out of hoses. Come on, man. We've done all that. This shit ain't. Sh this shit ain't. Yeah, the hose cleaner to me. I don't know <laughs> why. Because that shit, that fresh, cold yeah. is. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's you're, cold. You're any not water. To drink the out taste of rubber. rubber. <laughs> the taste of yeah, rubber. rubber. Or like the Avance is that first hit, that that warm hit. <laughs> yeah. And also that same day afterwards, after I hop, we went to uh, Walgreens. Me and my little brother, and we're like, oh, he just wanted to get something for his uh. Xbox Live or whatever, a gift card. And I was like, oh, let's go just go down the aisle real quick and see if there's only any toilet paper or anything. We went, nothing. The aisle was completely fucking empty. And I looked to my left and there was the medicine aisle. And that shit was stocked to the fucking T, dude. I was like, motherfuckers are grabbing all these toilet, all the toilet paper, fucking paper, uh, like for your hands or whatever, tissues and all that. And, but there's all kinds of medicine. Like it makes like no all, fucking the, sense. Like all the shit you should be buying for your immune system. Yeah. All that shit was there. I was just like, damn, people are fucking stupid. Imagine if the government would be like, hey, guess what, guys? We have fucking aliens. <laughs> there's aliens. Aliens, there's aliens here right now. People would lose their fucking shit, dude. Yeah. I'd just be like, take me. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fight aliens, really. You look like a fucking alien. <laughs> 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 yeah so how's this how has this thing affected you me personally but she came off all weird oh, how's this, this, this? <laughs> <laughs> I me personally no me uh, trying to say it because I was looking at my phone at the same time so how has the coronavirus affected you at work people half the staff are telecommuting but I get to stay at work I'm just happy I've talked shit telecommunicating on my or what the fuck telecommuting it's working from home working from make home make it simple uh, I talk say remote. I talk shit remote, yeah. on my I talk shit on my job all the time. But when shit pops off like this, I guess it's good to be where I'm at. Because Melissa is in a situation where they're not having taking any uh, patients or anything like that. They closed down the the office, so basically it's a one house. It's a one income. So you're making all the money for once. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been making it until she got a job. So basically, <laughs> I put her through school and then um, 
She gets a job. And that fucking sucks though. There's there's a lot of fucking people that are out of work right now. That's way yeah. that's, that's way more that than not. You yeah. know what I mean? Like like look at Vegas for example. Everyone there makes money off of that that fucking hub, which is like the yeah. entertainment the fucking casinos. And, and basically no, that's it Hotels No casinos. one's there now no, it's, Everything's it's fucking shut down So many people are laid off there And they've been shut down Longer than we have They're fucked um, What else San Francisco I mean there's a lot of tech there A lot of people can work from home But there's also a lot of people That have regular ass jobs Yeah So they're homeless I mean this is gonna affect the economy It's gonna affect your way of life It's gonna affect your bills Everything It's fucking nuts Which is scary Luckily I'm I'm working from home But I'm being paid um, But I know a lot of people aren't So that shit sucks but with me, I'm, we have a lot of work right now. We're, I guess, an essential team because uh, my company has a, 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 govern, a government contract. So they're helping oh, shit, build yeah. the hospitals and all that. So we're going to have work, which I'm grateful for. But it's kind of scary because like, people around you, it's affecting you. And you're just like, damn, got to get on your shit. Like, yeah. I mean, it's funny, too. I mean, we got to talk about this. We have buddies that... They're so, like, against guns, wouldn't even touch oh, one. Yeah. They're kind of scared of them. And then all of a sudden, they're running to the gun stores last minute. Of course, they're Idiots. not. Idiots. Yeah. Two of them might were able to buy one, but uh, the I can't mention them right now. But he, he fucking, he went last minute, went to three different stores, and they when, to, basically told him, nah, dog. When did they buy them? Nah, one? dog. Uh, well, um, two of them bought them straight from the manufacturer, and they're, they're getting shipped. They're fine. They bought them before, like a oh. week before. Oh, okay. I was um, about to say, like, if they bought them recently, no, they still got to wait. Yeah. A ten week. days, yeah, ten days, yeah. and they're gonna. Get oh well, yeah, he's already he's already been waiting his ten days. Well, the first people I'm talking about, but the other dude didn't even get a gun. Yeah, there's they're a not lot accepting of people, new gun owner. No, yeah, there's a lot of people that just fucking bought guns right now, and yeah. they're fucked. Yeah. Like they're not they're, gonna be. Yeah, able the, pick, they're the not gonna be, able gonna be pick those longer. Up. Yeah, well, I mean, you are because it's yeah. also an essential, it's an essential, an essential thing. business. The NRA and, and yeah, uh, yeah, they yeah, they, not but, a, not if everything fucking goes on lockdown. Everything's no, even even yeah, it's still essential. The the the. Right to bear arms protects us. So even if you go lockdown, like me, like uh, my company that I work at, I'm still allowed to go out. They gave us a letter. Oh shit! To, to show the travel cops. to show the <laughs> cops in case I get oh, stopped. Shit. So you got fucking it. papers. I'll show you when before we leave. My well, I have my ID. They told us to have our ID. They're so. most likely gonna give you a letter too. My mom got a letter too. Yeah, she works for a nursing home. So like hmm. it's it's fucking weird if you think about it. It's like. It's like a permit to go outside. Yeah. Like here. <laughs> That's what they did back in the day, right? For like slavery and shit. Like you couldn't go around unless you had certain paperwork that said where you were going. Yeah. Or it's that's it's fucking nuts. That shit's dude. crazy. That's fucking it's funny because my Halloween costume last year I wanted to be the play guy. And oh, yeah. I kinda wish I would have got that now. Because it's so relevant <laughs> to now. The what guy? You know, the the big beak, like like during the black plague, they oh, were those beaks. Fuck. Yeah. God damn! And then I heard this too, it has kind of nothing to do with anything, but kind of relative, is um when we say God bless you, supposedly that means um like during the plague mm-hmm. when you would someone would sneeze, you would say God bless you because die. they probably had like twenty four yeah. hours to live. Yeah. So it's like oh. So yeah. if someone's just sneezing next to you or coughing, <laughs> it's like God bless you. It's like hey, I'm sorry. Like but yeah, sucks, I dude. hope God, <laughs> I hope God <laughs> greets yeah. you. He's like hey, you're fucked, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the worst time for me because I have allergies. Me too. I'm <laughs> fucked <Yeah>. right now. <laughs> I, mean, I fucking took a bunch of those the nasal shit right now. People, yeah. if, as soon as I sneeze, right people look at you like Dude, what the fuck? Yesterday, is going on? I was telling him and our, our buddy uh, that I was at Walmart and I and I sneezed because I when I sneeze, I sneeze three times yeah. in a row. I've said that before. And uh, this lady just looked at me and walked away. And then yesterday when I was telling the story, I sneezed and our buddy was like, what the fuck? <laughs> See shit like that? And I was just like, dude. And he, he's been going to the store with his kids and then like one of them will be coughing. He feels like he has to leave. Like, no, calm the, the fuck down. <laughs> no, people are looking <laughs> at you. He was his kids or what? Huh? <laughs> no, no, people <laughs> leave them there. It's everybody waiting. <laughs> people look at you crazy because your kids are supposed to be home. Yeah. And I'm like, that kind of sucks for single parents. They're like, well, I have to take my child with me because yeah. I can't just leave him at the house. But just fucking lock him in the car, crack the window. Dude, have, have you guys <laughs> have you guys woke up checking for uh, symptoms? I yes, woke. I did that this morning. No. Dude, I thought I had fucking real symptoms like a week ago, and but and then I took a Claritin and then I feel way better. Yeah. <laughs> it's just my allergies. I'm yeah. just like I just I was just fucking over fucking thinking everything. I can't even sleep right now. Every time the dog barks, I look straight out the window, towards our cars and everything. 
just to see if like people are coming, pop it off someone, or something like that. If there's someone coming up, <laughs> you guys have you guys have crazy. cameras like Ring and all that. We not Ring. My mom has Ring right here, but we don't have Ring. We have cameras, but that's she ain't gonna do nothing. Well, at least y'all know. Uh, that's why we have the dogs so that if they are, they're barking, they're barking for a reason. Well, yeah. Steppy has these fucking dogs that don't do shit. They so still I don't bark. Know what he's do. But I'm talking about where <laughs> I live. Yeah, like, you need I, you need to get a fucking little tiny dog that barks at everything. Yeah, yeah, we got three. <laughs> They bark at everything. Because a, after a certain point, maybe three months of this shit, it's yeah, going to get uh, crazy. Like right now, I don't have my my gun set up to a point where hurry up and lock and load. I still have the knife set up where just in case someone comes in, I can roll over, get a knife here, roll over, get a knife here. Yeah. But uh, I don't have the gun set John up John McFour. But, but yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. But now once but, once uh, it gets a little crazier, we're, we're, we're in it for the long run, I think I'm going to start setting up. I already set yeah, mine up because... Yeah. I thought about it. I'm kind of like the first line of defense because my room is right there by the stairs. Yeah. I hear it. I got to go. Like, I can't well, wait that's for the them best. to get up. That's the best because they're going to have to come up the stairs. Yeah, just da da You know? And we yeah. do have one creek in the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I think yeah. that kind of warns you. You should just <laughs> bring the dogs inside. No, they're inside. Oh, okay. See. They're in the yeah. garage, but they could hear everything. I just pick, picked up some ammo. So. I heard ammo's being gouged too. Like it's, it's yeah, expensive. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Like yesterday, we were chilling in the garage, and I was just like, "Hey, bring your guns down. We're gonna start putting grease in them." We're just chilling there, listening yeah. to fucking <laughs> clean, clean Culture Wall, my new favorite <laughs> artist and shit. And then uh, this alote man passed by, and we're just looking at each other like, "You want some alote? Like, <laughs> fuck it." <laughs> it's probably not the safest thing right now. But give us the fuck. <laughs> I, asked, I asked the guy too. I was like, "Is anyone buying?" He's like, "No." He's like, "Everyone's scared to come outside." I was like, "Well, you're." First customer of the day yeah. and it lasts, I guess. Who were just eating fucking a corn in a cup and just <laughs> cleaning the guns. That shit was so bomb, dude. <laughs> it's chill. Yeah, I wish. They don't even come where we live. <laughs> I think that's like Rich. the first time that I've seen them out yeah, there. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't really seen them out in our neighborhood either. In our old neighborhood, we'd get everybody. The fucking yeah. ice cream man, the the lote guy, the espalo guy, you name it. Dude, those guys used to come around so much that I knew them. Like, I knew one oh, of yeah, Paco. The, yeah. <laughs> the homie Paco used to sell DVDs. We knew all the ice cream man. The ice cream man still recognizes to this day. Like, the we went one? to the neighborhood a long time ago. Or what was it? Like, a couple of weeks ago. No, couple it was ago. a couple of months ago. And we haven't been to the neighborhood in forever. We moved out of there for a while. A while ago. And uh, we were just walking. We walked to the liquor store because we were at our homie Ivan's house. And the dude recognized us. He was like, oh, shit, you too. Like, yeah, he waved at us and I was just like, oh, fuck. You guys are fat asses. <laughs> 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 no, nah, we were just those fucking, we were just those fucking kids that were always outside fucking doing some kind of ruckus. Yeah, because we wouldn't even always buy stuff. We would just stop him and just fucking bullshit. And talk shit to him and like run around. And then, and sometimes he'll hook us up. Like, dude, I, I was that guy that would fucking count pennies. Get, get him a whole Ziploc bag of pennies. Probably wasn't even a hundred for a dollar. <laughs> and then he's like, I ain't counting the shit here. <laughs> like, that was funny. Well, back to you buying ammo. What what do you have? What weapons do you have? I have a pistol. I have a revolver. 357 Magnum. Damn. Those are the yep. big ones, huh? Yeah. Shit's a fucking hand Should cannon. blow a hole through you. <laughs> yep. Hey, can that take 38? Huh? It took, yeah. Um, I have two boxes if you ever need really? to. Yeah, so, really? Some specials? Yeah. I, I sold mine a couple years ago, so I don't know. Yeah, need it. it takes both of those. How are you going to offer him that when you just told me I can have them? You don't have You don't have a 38. Melissa's dad has one. Oh, well, there you go. I'll give you one and I'll give him one. Oh, okay. Because yeah. 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 he, <laughs> he just bought 50 from uh, Big Five, but Big Five's closed now. None of those stores are open anymore. I went yesterday to Big Five because yeah, I, I was going to buy a, a pump for a basketball and then also a knife and yeah, see what the guns Walmart, were. Walmart, Walmart. I don't want to go to fuck. You don't have a knife. I hate the people. Everybody Walmart. hates Walmart. But I mean, if you're just gonna get a pump, just in and out. Uh, I wonder I if fucking um, Harbor Freight's open because they got those machetes for like five bucks. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you can get all kinds of dope ass <laughs> shit. You get a flame put over there for like twenty yeah. bucks. <laughs> yeah. I got. I got yeah, two. Of, Harbor I got two of those. <laughs> Har- Harbor Freight's the shit. I was like, actually there okay. last. Uh, you'll go in there thinking like, oh, I'll never. Yeah. I don't need this shit. But you look at the prices. You're like, they got the cheapest. You'll walk out with like, like, <laughs> I was there last week. You'll, you'll walk out with the fucking yeah. Crescent Ranch. You'll never use it. <laughs> <laughs> so last week I, uh, I had to work on Saturday. And I went over to this guy's cousin's house, Andy, and our buddy Gabriel was there. Oh, and they yeah. were working on the car for nine hours because they were just <laughs> fucking around and all that kind of Being shit. Being drunk. We went to yeah. Harbor Freight. And then Andy's like, oh, I just need one thing. Andy starts putting all kinds of shit yeah, in the fucking in cart. cart. Like, God damn. Dude, you got to go to that store. It's legit. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a fun day, though. 
Yeah. Hell we yeah. just chilling there fucking with the homies fucking around. Being but drunk. Gabriel Gabriel talking shit. Like Gabriel was mad because he literally went, I think, seven thirty in the morning. He wanted to get a one and done, like just let's do it and then get the fuck out. <laughs> Nine hours, dude. And then I, you should um, already know Andy. Andy's yeah, like fucking take forever. <laughs> Andy's a YouTube mechanic. He's gonna yeah, take all day. I woke up. I woke up and I saw the little snap. And then oh, I went to work. They and started then, off with shots at like eight in the eight, eight, yeah. Gabe gave the rapper gave yeah, mm-hmm. the yeah. rapper gave. And then that break, <laughs> I saw another snap. I was like, oh, they're gonna be there once I get out. I got out. I didn't even call them. I just went over there. And then as soon as they roll up, they're just arguing with each other. Like. <laughs> 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 and I sat there We fucking watched Dragon Ball Z oh, cause, Cause Andy had to go smoke real quick He had a Dragon Ball Z Yeah and Andy always has these fucking smoke breaks So he just go smoke He's a bowl right. We went back And then Andy goes Well this is what's gonna happen I can't pull this fucking thing out So we're gonna have to go buy something else Or just come back next week And Gary was fucking losing his shit <laughs> what, were they, what were they changing What were they fixing uh, The brakes, uh, brakes The rotors rose. And he did a a flush a transmission fl- uh, yeah. transmission flush <laughs> and uh, power steering flush and then it turns out that I just went over just to fucking talk shit and then I had to drive them two spots to two spots <laughs> fuck it was funny and he rotated his tires <laughs> <laughs> and then he also put oil on my shit like it's just, <laughs> it was just all day mechanics which is hilarious but it's, it's always fun to go there like it, it sucks because it takes all day but it's just still fun it just feels like it's just hanging out we're just hanging out fucking around it literally we're, felt like we're, we're kids. kids again and we're just like oh we're growing as fuck with little as kids <laughs> <laughs> just yelling at each other their yeah. fucking <laughs> arguments are fucking hilarious dude like are you gonna let me fucking do this I'm the mechanic he's like no, you fucking ate. And then, and then <laughs> he'll ask, he'll ask Gabriel to do something like, "Hey, just uh, spin the wheel for the power steering. Just, just spin it for like five minutes." He's like, "Fuck that! I'm not gonna work. I'm paying you." And then Gabriel tries to fucking lower it twenty bucks. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, it's fucking crazy. A fucking nine hour job, shit. Uh, <laughs> is it a set rate or he pays by the hour? He just tells him how much he just, you want. This is the homie hookup usually. But but that's that's what you get <laughs> when you get yeah. the homie hookup. You gotta hang out and do some bullshit, dude. But we killed fucking a tequila bottle and a fucking uh, whiskey bottle. No? The whiskey bottle. Damn, tequila so, and whiskey. Fuck. It was nine hours, bro. <laughs> yeah, he got he there. He sleep? had no change. Like I literally left. I went to go take a shower and I came back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and you change your bulbs too. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was funny. Yep. Yeah. Good so. old times. We weren't scared of the coronavirus that day. <laughs> <laughs> she has fucking. It, it is just. It's crazy how like how drastic it's been. It went from like coronavirus, ha ha ha. It's fucking funny to like, oh, it's getting kind of serious. Oh shit, people are hitting the stores. Those guys are idiots. To oh shit, they closed San Francisco. Oh shit, California's closed. Oh shit, no one has a job. Yeah, <laughs> it's like what the fuck. Oh shit, and there's I, violence in the streets. People. Oh shit, the military is moving in. Oh shit, like, that's the next. I. <laughs> Strongly they're believe that's do, the next fucking they're step. They're gonna do it, I think, to help to build hospitals and shit like that. Because, dude, I mean, I have cousins and family and and um, in the medical field, and they're running out of supplies. Like, they're they're they have to check out their masks and say why. Yeah, it, it's so fucked up. Like, um, um, a buddy I play with online, he he tells me that in New York, he's a paramedic. He says that there's 60 firemen and uh, EMTs under quarantine. There's a whole nursing home under quarantine, but the media won't tell you that because they don't cause panic. It's like it, it's becoming a real big problem, and we haven't even hit like the spike of it, I guess. So, I mean, well, that's the that's the whole reason for the quarantine. So it, yeah. we don't hit a spike. Yeah, but we'll see. That's why they're bringing in the I National mean, Guard and all that yeah. shit too to to have everyone in place because yeah. it's gonna be a. Hey. Do, you, do you think at Riverside it's gonna be like that where they'll pull you like some? DUI checkpoint shit like they'll pull you. If it gets out of hand, I think in I in I Riverside, think, I think in like a week. Yeah. yeah. Well, Riverside has the most deaths in Southern California. It's it's only like what six, but still out of, I think LA has like a bunch of cases, but it's been like two deaths. Yeah. But, but I think what's is, like what's crazy is that Coachella Valley with their old people though. They're yeah. saying that thirty four thousand or something. I seen. You're making me uncomfortable f- the way you're rubbing yourself. By f- I know. It's <laughs> people <laughs> are dying by the flu every other year, though. You know what I mean? So it's not. It's not like it's that. You are still with yeah. that bullshit hand. flu? Yeah. You're still no, with but that I'm argument? saying, Jesus, dude, Christ. like those numbers are like annually. Yeah, that's skewed. these numbers for the fucking coronavirus are two Daily? months. Oh, yeah, it's months. been two months, and it's already getting up and th- there. And think about like the rate. 
of that yeah. spreading. And think about like how much panic. Do you think all these people like America is greedy as fuck? Do you think they're just gonna be like, let's just lose millions of dollars? Yeah, let's because just it's turn, just like yeah, the let's flu. just close everything down for no reason. No. Well, I feel like I'm being attacked right now. You well, guys yeah. just speak. <laughs> you guys should just speak to me like just giving me information instead of yelling at me. <laughs> We're not just yelling at you. We're yelling at everyone I else feel like, too. I feel like this shit's been out here though. Get this smarter. Is a, this is an informational podcast, and I would like to not to be yelled at. Well, this is what we do. We yell at you. It is not informational. It's comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's under the comedy fucking section of podcast. But um, in entertainment on YouTube. <laughs> But I feel like this shit's been out here. Because, like, me and him got sick as fuck in January. Dude, I was floored. I've never been floored like that before. And a lot of people are saying the same thing. Like, So I feel like I already got it. So I should take advantage of these plane prices. Right? Yeah, let's I'm go pretty to sure fucking... I got it already because Corey got it. <laughs> oh, they're still, you're, you're still <laughs> able to travel, though? Yeah. I thought it was only essential, like, if you're traveling for... I don't know if there's all the way to essential travel yet. I'm not sure. I think the airlines are taking whoever wants to fly right yeah. now because they're losing mad Shit, money. We're getting fucking and that's hit a, every state. Well, that's yeah. another thing too. Like, like a lot bucks. of a lot of like CEOs, like people up there in big companies, they were stepping down before this oh, shit yeah. got really crazy. That's like, fucking crazy. Like, like a lot of beer companies, I started noticing when I was looking for beer news for our other podcasts. Is that my beer? Listen to that. <laughs> um, and I started noticing a couple of weeks ago before all this shit was really got crazy that a lot of people were stepping down. Bill Gates fucking stepped down. The guy's yeah. no reason Disney. To. So did like, yeah, Bob Iger. Fucking yeah, Bob Iger fucking stepped nuts. down. And like a lot of people, it, senators, um, they they sold their that. stocks. Yeah, I don't know the full story of that, but I just know they sold their stocks and they're in some shit right now. Like that's a big thing. So like, like, there's people that definitely were informed, but also yeah. you have to think about those CEOs. Like they they there's, there's a Disney in China. Um, uh, Bill Gates obviously works with China too. There's a Disney in China. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah and Macau, right? And then, um, so it's like, they're in the know. So they know how bad it is there. Yeah. And they just probably figure, they're like, I don't want to deal with this shit. Yeah. I'm like, fuck that. Still, that's just fucking nuts. So, I mean, the people are, there's people in the know, for sure. Like, there's sh- a lot of people know stuff that we don't know. Or just take it back. The- they're part of the elite. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the elite. They're part of the elite. Trump said it himself. You had to be rich or famous if I get tested. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the test, though? Put up your nose or something. Dude, it's like a fucking, it's kind of like a U shaped, um, uh, fuck it. What are those things that go in your ear? Swab. Q tip, like a, Q-tip. or a swab or Q tip. And they put it all the way up your nose. It feels like it touches your brain, I guess. Fuck. I wonder if that hurts more than the, the fucking, like the AIDS test. Like, oh, oh hell no. I mean, putting your dick. That's that your hurts. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the AIDS test? That's like, the old school way of doing you it. Never, yeah. Oh, I did it when I was like 19. Just I've never been tested for I did any the, H- with STDs. <laughs> yeah. or yeah, well, I, just did the, I did the physical and all that, and then they were like, oh, this part of it, if you want to do it, I was like, yeah, fuck it. You know, I'm see if I'm good. Yeah. Fucking. Right after that, they did like, it's just a P test and a blood test. Yeah. So what did you have to do? Though? It's, a, it's they, like a Q tip. It's a giant Q tip that they shove it, up your pee hole. Yeah. yeah. And they swab <laughs> it. Like they turn yeah. it back and forth and then they pull it out. Like you're cleaning out your belly button yeah. or something? Yeah. Yeah. No, they they grab this shit put in your pee hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They grab this shit and then boop. Put well, belly button hurts when you clean it. When you <laughs> twist the Q tip. What the fuck? When was the last time you cleaned your belly button? Today? You're fucking a liar. I swear. I take a shower every day. I'm oh, a clean shit. person. But you clean your belly button? I don't clean my belly button every day. I once took out like, a big ass piece of lint. Yeah, I've taken out lint from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do it right now. When's the last time you actually <laughs> clean like your legs like with soap, like just scrubbing? Every time I take... I use shampoo yeah. for that. Yeah. Or I just let the fucking soap run down. I was like, oh, it's going to clean. <laughs> well, when was the last time you clean your back? I never clean my back. That's hard. Because <laughs> we don't have, we don't have yeah. those, the, the wand or whatever. That's true, dude. So it's like, like I'll, I'll, do, I'll just do the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Armpits, arms. We, we all got face, dirty ass backs. <laughs> we got dirty backs. <laughs> dirty back crew. <laughs> Damn, dirty backs. <laughs> dirty, dirty back, dirty back, dirty back. <laughs> Chilly. Yeah, that's too at, much. The only STD out. <laughs> Melissa's take. <laughs> Melissa's had a take. Back. I know. <laughs> you really have something to put up. Uh, I've never had a. I've never taken an STD test, but <laughs> Melissa's taken blood tests. Then she's good, so I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm good. <laughs> That's like fucking uh, Mitch Hedberg. Yeah, his, his fucking joke. He's like, I take the roundabout AIDS test. Yeah. He's like, I just ask people I know. Hey, do you know anyone with AIDS? And they say no. And that includes me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm good. He has so many. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's one way of doing it with your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, if you smash a chick that got pregnant like a month later, they get tested automatically. Oh, yeah. What's another way? <laughs> but have you ever... T- You're a UFC fighter? <laughs> have you ever y- actually gone and taken an SU test? No. No. I, I have. Have you? Yeah. Because you're scared or you just because you wanted to? Just because. Yeah, I just did it I with, should. with my physical. I should. Smart thing. Yeah. Well, I understand yeah, yours because you're there for a time. Every single time, I keep the voicemail and they like... Just because it's, it's fucking hilarious. Well, it's like, not like you can't catch it after that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's not a one time deal. Like, oh, you're good. <laughs> he gets to a fucking dirty ass chick and he just listens to a voicemail. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, that's like people getting tested for the coronavirus. Like, dude, you're fine now, but maybe in a couple of weeks you might still get it. You're sick. But, um, <laughs> but conspiracy theorists are saying that they're putting a chip up your, your brain. I think they're just infecting people. <laughs> but even worse. Get yeah. into it. Let me know. That they're, they're making sure you're getting infected. Dude. So they swab your mouth. They swab all the way up your fucking nose. They make sure you're getting infected as soon as you walk out of there. Dude, I think my conspiracy is that before I even hit out here, you know how like they, they brought people from China, like the Americans from China or whatever, and they, two planes came here to March Air Force Base. Yeah. I think they brought them here. They were in, some of them were infected. They're just not going to tell everyone. And then they sent them to Washington, and then they they started testing them to figure that shit out. Because the first outbreak, the big outbreak, was in Washington State uh, University, right? That's where they were testing that shit. I'm think I'm saying that they brought them from here to over there just to just to stay ahead of the game. Like you know what I mean? Like it's that way. What do you mean that way? You point that way. Well, Washington this, whatever, State fool. This way. I don't care. I'm not talking about Washington <laughs> State. I'm talking about fucking... Wait, well, they you brought them here for what? They brought from China to uh, March. to March Air Force Base because they're saying that, you know, it's precaution or whatever. But I'm saying, like, they, were, they brought them out down here just to test them, and then they took them to Washington State or Washington University or whatever, and that's, that's where the first outbreak was at. Well, I heard they landed in Canada first, and then they came here. But well, either way, Washington's that. in the middle of Canada and California. Well, you're a dumbass because I'm talking about Washington D.C. That was the first that you said Washington State. No, no I State thought it was University. It's in Seattle. Washington State University. Yeah, Washington State is Washington State. In Washington, I'm talking about whatever the university. You guys <laughs> <is. laughs> <laughs> are mixing it up like crazy. Yeah. Washington State is Washington. Yeah, it's Washington. Yeah, but there's probably a Washington State <laughs> University in Washington. I don't know. No, the Washington DC. DC. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever it is, dude, that fucking university was <laughs> testing that shit. He's like, edit out, edit out. We all we all got coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> we all got held back, I guess. <laughs> no, I just mixed up those universities. That's it. Fuck but yeah. I'm saying like they probably you know try to stay ahead of the game. It's just population control. That's all it is. And they're trying to kill everyone off, or whoever, whoever's going to survive. Gonna survive. Sky looks fucking beautiful today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's perfect. That's, a nice day. That's what I was telling Martin. I was like, yeah, it's fuck, it's fucking nice as fuck today because there's, there's the no world's going to yeah. shit. <laughs> there's no fucking pollution. It is the beginning. No one's of driving or fall right. That's Mother Nature telling us, like, look at you fucks, <laughs> dude. I drove from fucking Glendale to right. Marino Valley in an hour. That's uh, ridiculous. Yeah, that, that is it's, ridiculous. It's usually an hour and a half to two hours. That is ridiculous. I kind of want to drive the 91 right now and see how chill see it, it is. is. <laughs> well, a lot of people are, hang I just see a lot of people riding their motorcycles just because it's free. It's open. They don't have to worry about people cutting them off or running them over and shit. That's true. Yeah, it's a good time to just like... Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen a lot, lot of motorcycles road. too. That's what I was telling them yesterday. I was like, we should try to uh, oh, yeah. sneak into places that we can't go. Like... Uh, what was it? Yesterday we were watching Fighter and the. Well, no, it wasn't Fighter and the Kid. It was uh, uh, King and Sting. Yeah, King and Sting. King and Sting and this guy fucking made a video from the from the back lot in the Universal Studios. Like, how did that guy get in there? Like, he just stuck in there. Because no one's home. No one, I was going to say no one's home. No one's there. So. <laughs> no, no one's home. <laughs> no one's there. Well, they should keep the movie. I was talking about Melissa yesterday. They should keep the movie theaters open and just have 10 people in at a time in each theater and just have them spread out. You're the problem. How's that a problem? You're not even buying. No, I said you're the problem. 
We're supposed to be social yeah. distancing. That is social distancing. <laughs> we're f- you're the one. We're fucking right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think about it. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, yep. All dude, this them. offshoot fucking hazy double IPA is pretty good. It's good. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So How long do you think this is gonna last, though? I hope not <sighs> months. That long, dude. Months. If, if, I, if you watch the me. news. It gets scarier. <laughs> like, it just feels like yeah. months. But if you don't pay attention to shit, it just feels like a little vacation. It's going to be months. Because I'm bored as fuck already. Me too, I can't dude. be at the house anymore, Do some really. push-ups, fool. Fuck. It's not even that. I'd rather go... I don't know. Go to work? Gym, go to work? Gospel. I go to work. <laughs> go Work's for a walk, fun. fool. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Play with your kids for once. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing with my kids. <laughs> You've been outside liar. all day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> then you wouldn't be bored. Fuck. It's not I'm not bored. I have things to do. It's just that I'd rather go do other things. <laughs> what would you rather yeah, do? Yeah, you never go instead out. of loving your kids. <laughs> well, I love my kids all week. I'm just saying, like <laughs> you fucking the bastard. Gym, playing soccer, like me time. <laughs> we just do a podcast every day. <laughs> <laughs> me time. Fuck. No, it is it is weird. If this shit fucking weird. goes away by summertime, fuck. It better. Summertime is going to be cracking like a muff. Everyone's going to be yeah. out. Fucking Rosarito Beach, here we come. A lot of pregnant people. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's all you can do. <laughs> fuck. He's did fuck. three times yesterday, and I was yeah. amazed. There, there's <laughs> really? going to be a lot of How? kids. The there's kids are be home. a lot of kids in nine They're months. playing Fortnite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> said, there's there's going to be a lot of kids in nine months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> baby me Baby me They're gonna be Coronavirus babies <laughs> Coronavirus All there is to do Is eat Watch some type Of streaming service And have sexual relations <laughs> Or furiously <laughs> masturbate That gets boring <laughs> After a while too <laughs> What shows Are you guys are watching Right now Get on Call of Duty Warzone Any new shows Should uh, Have you watched Dave Oh, oh, Dave's hilarious. I started Dave's watching fucking it. funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's funny how I'm the one that told you guys about that, and then you're the that's one. That's not true. That's not true. Andrew nope. Santino told me on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He is right. Because that's how I started watching it. <laughs> and then Joe Rogan told him, like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Oh. Yeah. Because it's fucking hilarious, that's Joe Rogan. Jesus hilarious. Christ. Yeah. Not everyone works for the UFC, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing Joe Rogan. Please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Help us out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On it, on it. Buy your, uh, <laughs> your athletic greens. <laughs> you, I love you. <laughs> Fucking snowfall. Oh yeah, you were telling me about that. Oh what, fuck! What's, what's the whole uh, going back to Joe Rogan? Oh shit! DMT. Well, let's I, talk about that experience. Oh, I did that oh you did it? I did that bufo. Well, that's it's, uh, yeah, a frog poison. What was it? When was that? Five MEO? Toad, toad poison. Yeah, five, five MEO. MEO DMT. Yeah. That shit was fucking nuts. Where'd you do that? Your, your, huh? your house? No, at some chick's place. So um, explain what's that, what's that used for? How do you even that? get that, though? Well, she's kind of like a shaman. She does like this whole ceremony and she like cleanses you she bathes you in fucking do like um what is it like holy water and shit like that and do you have to pay yeah well yeah how, yeah, much, you, how much was it it was 200 bucks so it's at her house yeah and you're doing it solo or you're doing it the group there's a group there's a bunch of people that did it that's, that's only that scares me is doing it with the group because you don't know how they're gonna react if they start fucking trying to stab motherfuckers. Yeah, but no, no, there there was one dude that fucking tripped the fuck out. See? And he started screaming. He tried to rip his hair out. He started clawing at his face. Oh damn! Yeah, and like a bunch of people just jumped on him and like fucking held him down. And then when once he came back, he's like, "Oh, that was the most peaceful experience." And we're oh, like, shit. "That wasn't peaceful at all." Like you were <laughs> screaming, dude. Like the entire time he was fucking screaming. He's like, ah, "I was." Ah, I would think that would ruin everyone else's time. <laughs> was that, Damn, right? was that more good? neighbors, huh? Yeah, for real. Was that creeping you that out? Time? No. It, uh, I mean, I just watched them. Because you knew that's kind of expected, right? Yeah, some like people some people... Uh, were you kind of nervous you were going to be like that? Because that's what I'm kind of nervous about. I wasn't I wasn't nervous until right before I did it. Some people throw up. Yeah. You know. uh, no, mostly everyone threw up. Okay. Did you like, throw up? No. No. Okay. Is it a one at a time? Hmm? Yeah. Well, it was it was two at a time. So it was like whoever went with each other, they did it. And you had to watch their whole experience? Huh? 
Yeah, I sat there for hours just letting people fucking go in front of me because I wanted to see them like do that shit. And most of the people fucking got up and threw up like they would get up like all dazed out and just start fucking puking. Oh, you guys would... were all in the same room? Hmm? We're in Outside, their back right? we're in their backyard, like in a gazebo, just chilling. Like uh, she had a big ass mat on the floor. Oh, so you could see everyone's experience? Yeah, like, we're oh, all shit. we're all just chilling there, like this. Like Yeah, I've seen her videos. Yeah. And you were did you go solo? Hmm? Yeah, you I went solo. Yourself? I went I was like the second to last person to go. So explain your Yeah, so tell experience. us about the experience from that what shit, you remember. I So I know everyone has a different experience. Yeah, Paul, every, everyone has a di- different fucking experience. Um I know you've heard uh Mike Tyson's experience where he saw all sorts of shit and kind of like felt like he was reborn. Yeah. yeah. Mine was it was all shapes and colors. So could kind of like be more descriptive like when you when you first did it you how long did, what was the process of doing it and then when did it first hit you and then what happened from it, there It fucking hits immediately like she, so, so she what does she do She yeah. teaches you how to do it like she she gives you the pipe and she's like okay you're going to take a deep breath as I'm as I'm lighting it up It's kind of like a tweak pipe right Yeah, yeah. and she's like I'm going to light it up and you take a deep breath for at least 10 seconds or yeah. longer if you can and then you hold your breath for at least 10 seconds or longer. Mm-hmm. And then you let it go and you lay down. From the moment you start to hit it, it starts to hit you. Oh, shit. Fuck. And, like, everything starts to melt around you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's intense. Like, you've, you've fucking done DMT before. Yeah, yeah. You but felt like, that, like, that melting. But it wasn't... It wasn't- at the like right away, yeah. it took a couple minutes. Yeah, but I know the melting. The, the feel melting. like like something wet hits you and just yeah, everything starts yeah. to melt around yeah. you. So it's it's immediate. Did you hear that sound? Yeah. The, oh, you know the sound I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. It, it's it's fucking immediate. As soon as you start to hit it, everything starts to melt and it gets more intense as you like go on. So are you paying attention to the visuals or are you kind of like your mind goes somewhere else at that point? At that point, you're just, you're counting like, cause she says count to 10 and you could hear her counting, but she keeps getting further away. She's oh, like, Oh shit, that's trippy. Yeah. By like five seconds, she seems really far away. She's like five, six, seven, eight. Right. And then like by then everything just melted. And are you in a different space now? Or are you still sitting down? Still sitting down and you're holding it and I But you're you're conscious of this is what I'm saying. You're yeah. not in your head yet. Okay. Still conscious, barely. Okay. I remember her holding my mouth so that I wouldn't breathe, like so I could hold Take it, it all in. the way yeah. in. Yeah. And then I remember her pushing me back from the mouth. And I laid down and everything just fucking it was insane. Can, like it, can you it was something? If you've ever done psychedelics, there's a moment where you could feel like every molecule in your body, like you you feel your vibration. Okay. This was like time, like you just turned it up to eleven. Every molecule in my body vibrated so hard that I blinked out of existence. So you, you were just not nothing. Yeah, there was nothing there. Like it, it felt like if I could just make the, it was just went. Mm-hmm. And then I just, there was nothing there. Like every molecule in my body vibrated to the point where so, there was nothing. So there. it's just your mind. So yeah. you're just thinking you, you're no, no longer conscious of your body. Yeah. There was your nothing there, arms, just floating. Okay. And it was shapes and colors. And I, yeah. It's like you're seeing that in front of you or around you? It's, it's like you are it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. What it, like what you're Hold seeing, on. you are that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. And so what about like as far as like seeing anything? Did you see anything? Any any like did you For have any like um visual experiences, any alignments where you fucking felt like, Oh, that's what that is, or this is how I feel, or did you come out of it feeling more enlightened or anything like that? No. No, I didn't actually. Yeah, so it was just squares and fucking triangles. Yeah, for me, yeah. It was it was just shapes and colors and weirdness. But you're kind of into that already so you've done psychedelics like you've yeah, done like all that I, stuff I've, I've, maybe I've, if it's like their first time ever yeah it's knowing because that. it's because uh, i think because i've already had that experience on mushrooms mm-hmm. i've had that moment where it's like i've seen the universe like i i felt it and i was there so this time 
it just it didn't feel like that. So like I didn't feel anything. It just I like I blinked out of existence and I just saw things. Did anything make more sense? No. No. What about um the intensity of it? Do you feel like this is more intense than anything you've done before? It is insanely more intense than anything. That's fucking crazy. Because I know you like to do that shit. Yeah. And you wouldn't like say, the, oh, it's... The only thing, like, as soon as I came back out of it, kind of, all I said was, wow. <laughs> I, like, I, I fucking put my hands on my face and I went, wow. And the, the chick looked at me and she's like, yep. Was she hot? Yeah. She's a good looking girl. That's crazy. Does she include in the two hundred dollars? Did you feel afterwards when you came back? Did did you feel more like like something off your chest? Did you feel like more relaxed? Anything changed? Nothing changed. There was no enlightenment at all for you. No, because I've already had that moment. That's I, what I'm I've, saying. I've yeah. had that moment with mushrooms a long time ago. Okay. I feel like it's and just he's immune, sort of like yeah, like I, kind of or like maybe he just needs another dosage. He just probably needs to do it again. No, it's it's just because I've I've had that feeling before on mushrooms, and then ever since then, like since I moved to fucking Glendale, I've been working on myself and meditating oh, yeah. a lot and doing mm-hmm. whatever I can. So I didn't have like a spiritual awakening because. I've already been there. Do yeah, that makes sense? Because I know you've been doing a lot of acid and yeah. Um, like so, like our buddy Paul, we're gonna hear his experience. His was a bit different, but he also had a lot of demons he was going through and yeah. a lot of shit he was going through in his head. So I think he was kind of like he like his he probably probably made that reality happen while he yeah. was in DMT. He, he was probably, already going in the battle in his yeah. Head. He and probably that, had to like take on that battle while he yeah. went through that. Experience. And that's a that's a thing like. Most people are still facing fucking demons. They're still that's why they're like still I was going through probably. like a like a lot of shit, yeah. and that's when they have that fucking I guess awakening or whatever. Yeah, I've already gone through that for the past three years. Like I've I've been working through my own bullshit. So when I went through it, I didn't have anything to work through. Mm. It was just. Do you recommend it? I do. I highly recommend it because it's it's fucking insane. I want to do it, but Where I kind of want to. Where is she located? She's right here down the street, Riverside? Loma. Oh, I don't yeah. I kind of want to do it, um, but but I want to do the the other shit where they they scar you for life. Where oh, you throw the, up um, the cleanse, the kumbo, yeah. Kambo? Oh, it's, they could they put the poison. Yeah, yeah. they put the poison, yeah. then you throw up or you fucking shit. Yeah, and then um and then you do the DMT. Um, I, I don't know if it has any different effect, but I just I don't, for some reason I just want to do that too. Yeah, I want the tattoo. Yeah, oh, that's I want to have that scar for life. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? A tattoo? You're scarred for life? So it's it's kind of yeah. like you're branded. It's you're it's poison. a it's a different poison. Oh, so the poison's in the branding? Yeah. yeah. They, they what they do is like get the poison and they put it into little balls, and they put that little those little balls on your skin, and it it burns through your skin, so you end up getting scars. So it, there's a lot of people that have like dots, all the way down their arm or on their shoulder or down their spine. And it hurts like a but, bitch. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, it it stay it stays on you. Like the I don't think the poison itself hurts, but I but you end up fucking feeling sick as fuck yeah, for like I think it's like six hours. Did she do that thing where um where you sniff something or whatever? Yeah. And, and what was that? I didn't do that. I because oh, that's part that's part of the oh, combo. That's part of the combo. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I want to do it. Would you would be willing to do it again or do you feel like you got enough? I'd be willing to do it again. How do you yeah. even find these people? Instagram. A friend of ours. <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, she's on Instagram. I yeah. talked to her um, once already. Yeah, that's just cool as fuck. I, I'm I just scared of the whole group process. What's crazy though uh, is... Um, just, I don't think you have to. Paul did it on his own. I think it just depends on how many people Oh, Paul there. went to the same person? Yeah. Yeah. And spent 200 bucks? Yeah. He spent more because he did the full. Oh yeah, he did the, yeah, the, he did the whole poison thing and all that. Yeah, if you do the first thing, it's it's another hundred bucks. So, um, him so and his you, dad you, did it. Yeah, you, you, so you sit there and fucking throw up for his hours. Dad, his dad did it twice because he he wanted more out of it. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Because yeah, a lot of people go for like a spiritual healing, like yeah, or they're like, going through shit, or like or regret, or, and, or regret, or they want to know more of something. And I could, I could see how it would work for a lot of people mm. because that shit was insane. Like what I felt 
as soon as you start to hit it is it hard to describe it yeah it is it really is it, i i could barely put it into fucking words it like all i could say was like i saw shapes and colors but i i left my fucking body like i vibrated out of myself how Just, long did it last and were there any after effects it it lasted about 10 minutes there was it like it kind of lingered for another 20 to 30 Okay. So I was still kind of out of it afterwards. I remember standing up and I was like, oh shit, I'm still kind of fucked Did up. Did you just want to go home afterwards? Hmm? Or you just kind of stuck around? I stuck around because I knew I was still fucked up. I was okay. like, I can't fucking drive right now. Like, Gotcha. Damn. So I, I just sat there and I waited. Imagine it, she makes you wear all white. Everyone's just wearing all white sitting there. <laughs> Did you do it during the, the day or at night? Huh? It was during the day. Oh, okay. That would be like a nice yeah. day like this. It would be pretty cool. Yeah. It lasted like 10 minutes, but when you're there... It there is no time. Like every concept that you know is gone. That makes sense. Then you rule like time is just a fucking yeah. You're just in this place that's just insane. It's like it's it's like when you go to sleep and you dream. You don't know how long it's been, and all of a sudden you wake up. Dreams seem short. I had a dream today. I mean, I dream every day, but it's like it's crazy how it's like it seems like such a short thing, but it just you wake up out out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, you could live a whole fucking lifetime in a dream and all of a sudden wake up and you're like, what the fuck? It's been like five minutes. Or Ma- it, it just felt like five minutes. Or Martin, are you willing to do something like that? I feel like you we'll should. Talk about I, I can No one can see you. Not I, would do it, yeah. I feel like you will have a crazy experience as in like good. But I would do it only if she's only doing us as a group. I, I The only thing is, like you're saying, I don't want some crazy ass motherfucker to flip the fucking house start. Doing some crazy shit. We should like just do acid. <laughs> we should just do acid for you. Could experience that. We should go. Exactly. We should plan a hike and just do acid. And do a hike. Since like everything's closed, but you can still go hiking. Go to San Cinto. Or the mushrooms. I just got an ounce of mushrooms. Or that. I have never done it. <laughs> How much is an ounce? Well, I've of done it, mushrooms? but I've never got the real experience. Two hundred bucks. I don't want to call you inside of a truck and shit. <laughs> you already <laughs> did that. <laughs> I don't want to do it again, dude. <laughs> No, but I'd rather do that because that seems like it's more of a confined area. And what the fuck, you'd rather do that than acid or shrooms? If it was just us as a group at well, her place, yeah. Well, definitely you got to do acid before we go to Coachella. Well, October. first of all, this is a lot cheaper doing shrooms or or acid, <laughs> and fucking you do it with us. I guess you still want to spend two hundred bucks, ladies and gentlemen. I still suggest you spend two hundred bucks and go over there. Yeah, if, I mean, if you want to do that, then just do, do it. that. I but guess it has to call you, so do you feel it's calling you? Oh, I didn't feel, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was calling me. That's what, that's what Mike Tyson says. <laughs> Speaking of Mike Tyson, did you guys see the interview with him and uh, uh, Sugar Ray? Mm-mm. That one was a fucking good ass interview. Like, he breaks down, dude. I like, saw the clip. Yeah. Which one breaks down? Who breaks down? Uh, Tyson, dude. Like he's, he basically he's, says he misses being a fighter. Like, he. Yeah, he feels like a bitch. He like, feels like a bitch. He, he was such a fucking killer, you know, like. Like he, didn't he go misses to that anything, guy, but like, but, but he's he afraid knows. of that guy. He knows he can't go back to that guy because he knows something bad will happen. Yeah, yeah. And then he just had an interview with Eminem, and he kind of said the same thing. Like you know, so this is all I know. This is what I do, but I can't let that guy come back. I'm yeah, just like because he'll probably murder someone, most likely. Yeah, he looks like he would. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen other interviews where, um, or even behind the scenes where he gets mad at certain people because he thinks they're tripping on him, and he just can't get that out of him. I've seen him trip on his producer before because he said something like, oh, there's a real person named Siri. And then the producer starts laughing. And he's like, what, nigga? Why are you laughing? <laughs> he's like, he's like, there is someone named Siri. And then you, like, you tell like the situation was kind of awkward. But Yeah, there was a video that I saw that, I don't know if he was at, like somewhere out. And um, he was talking to someone. It was I think it was a celebrity or someone. And then someone comes up oh, that's someone, yeah, that's and someone. was just like, like, like trying to take a, not taking a picture of him, but he the, had the camera. The oh, he was, was recording it. Yeah, it was like another celebrity or rapper. Some, I think it was like a ball player. I don't know. Someone was recording the guy go up to Mike Tyson because it's like probably documentary or just content. Mike Tyson automatically trips on the guy with the camera. He's like, who the fuck is that? What are you doing here? What's with the camera? He like starts going towards him. And that dude's like, no, no, no. He's with me. It's cool. It's cool. He's like, oh, He's all, I'm right, sorry. I'm right, sorry. I'm right, sorry. Right. It's all good. I think you're on edge, though, at when you're a certain... I think Person so too, because like if you think about it, popular. If you think about it, Mike Tyson was the baddest man in the world at one point. Like he was a fucking 
everyone seen him as a killer. Like he, he actually got there. hypnotized to be uh, you know like the best fighter. To and I'm think sure that he's the best. And I'm sure there was crazy people out there that would try to test him on the streets or whatever. So I'm pretty sure he was just like, plus how he grew up and the whole hypnotizing and just being young as fuck and being that famous at out of nowhere. I'm sure it fucked him up. What do you guys think about? I haven't heard anything about it since, but Mayweather's baby mama just being found dead in a fucking... Well, no, his uncle and, died, and too. And his uncle died, too. I know that, but what the fuck happened? They didn't say she did was on drugs or anything like that. I haven't looked into it, so... That's I what know. I was saying, too. Was but like, people are trying thing. to say that he has child support, so they got her, he got her killed. Nah. Oh, That's shit. That's crazy. I don't know. Child support's a lot. It is. Like, especially but, for someone that rich. But he was all, like, sad about it and all that, but, like... Food. Like he's a fucking fool. yeah, yeah. he's a fucking like he put fraud. hands on her. You're a bitch. As a motherfucker. Like, I know you went to jail because you fucking beat her up. Like get the fuck out of here. Like he's a bitch for real. But you, f- her, found dead. No drug, no sh- gunshot wounds. Like something fucking happened. Yeah, it could have been. And she was, too, right? yeah, she was young too, right? Yeah, she was forty. Oh, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't read into it either. But I know his his uh his uncle died. And that, I'm pretty sure that fucked him up because he was like pretty much yeah, like his, his dad. Yeah, because mm-hmm. even when his dad abandoned him to go train Oscar De La Hoya, his uncle still stayed back. Yeah, I didn't his know. His uncle about, was a, a champ too for a while. Yeah, Chavez uh, Sr. fought him. And he's, uh, that's how I found out because he posted it up. He was like, you know, he was a really good fighter, a really good person. He knew what he was doing. And I was just like, what the fuck? He died? And that's when I saw seeing all the posts. So uh, going back to the Tyson thing, wh- is that something you think you would try, getting hypnotized? Joe Rogan said he's done it. A few people have done it. Getting hypnotized? Yeah. I will but they hypnotize you into like... I don't think I can. Okay, well... Okay, Eric, we get it. We get it, dude. We get it, but... We get it. He tries demons in no, his dream. No, he's, right. no, he's a dream slayer, right? No, I'm, I'm just... I'm fucking stubborn as fuck. I don't... Uh, yeah, we know you, that. That's why I said you okay, have to, right? You have to be like willing to let yeah. someone fucking tell you what to do, and I can't do that. Like, I'm, I'm too fucking stubborn. I want someone to do that shit to me. I want to become like Chris Angel and become a mind freak. <laughs> <laughs> mind freak! <laughs> no, they get, it's supposed to be they get hypnotized you to do all kinds of shit. Like I to just think a certain that, way. Yeah. Why not? I'd rather do just the $200 thing. <laughs> this was obsessed now. But yeah, you're about it, huh? You should do it, dude. No, I just know because there's like shit that I probably have to figure shit out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Do acid or shrooms first because you get that out of it. Trust me. That... Yeah, you so you're, you're trying to go up to the big leagues right away. Like, I feel like you should try this. Because I feel like something like that would help because I'm just so cynical and just don't believe anything. Like, I mean, it would. Trust I anything. Mean, like, I mean, look at fucking Mike Tyson. Yeah. He was the biggest fucking fighter in the world. A he's killer. a fucking killer and shit. And all of a sudden, like, after doing a bunch of psychedelics, he's like, I don't want to be that person anymore. You know what? Thank you for comparing like he, me to Mike like Tyson. He, Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you know what? We should just fucking <laughs> uh, go fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck, yeah. Yourself. <laughs> go fuck yourself. What we should do is get fucking get out of here. Pre- I, I think we could trick Martin. We can say it's that bufo shit, and then he'll just pretend like he's fucking feeling something. Nah, he's one of those guys. Not that guy. <laughs> not that casi- the compi- What is it called? Placebo. Placebo but- guy. No, I don't know. <laughs> but you should do acid Like at least microdose Yeah Cause I mean We're gonna be doing that shit In October in Coachella So might as well If October comes Oh Oh, dun, dun, dun. oh it's coming It's coming October's <laughs> gonna come I don't know if Coachella's gonna be there but <laughs> <laughs> The same lineup's not gonna be there either I doubt it It might even be better No they already said they got them all Oh did they? Mm-hmm. All of them? Oh shit! I, I wish Frank Ocean would just drop out though, and fucking. But I really hope they add more, they just will. to make up for all of it. There's someone better. Dude, this is up. like we have to go to this. This is history, like coronavirus, fucking Coachella. What was dope that we were able to get this? In? <laughs> the Roaring Twenty Twenties. <laughs> the Roaring Twenty Twenties. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it's at the end of it, but. Uh, yeah, Man, why? Funny. What's with your negative mindset, fucking Martin? Jesus Dude, Christ! When, you gotta do some acid. When they gave us right? that letter at work, the whole essential team and all that shit. We're just everyone's just standing there like, what the fuck? This is real. And the and the lady that told us about it, it was just like, she's like, if you guys think about it, we're kind of like back in the forties or whatever whatever year it was like 20s. in World War Two when all the women went to work and all the men went to fucking war. Where the, the women were building the tanks. Where are those women right now? I'm like, nah, bitch, we're the women, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're supplying America right now. Fuck it. 
She's all trying to pump us up, calling us women and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> I'm a man, man. I'm a man. <laughs> so what if prohibition comes around? No more beer. People nah, they crazy. can't. They won't do that. Well, they said that in the 1920s and or 1930s, and look what happened. I'll fucking shoot someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, that's why I'm breaking point. They can take my job. They can take everything else. They can take away beer, bitch. Fuck Shh. that. Shit. Melissa doesn't even drink, and she had a michelada last night. Well, so many people are just fucking doing shit they normally don't do. Yeah. Yeah, buying, we buying did the, guns. <laughs> the, the, guns, the two shot guns. challenge on Instagram is fucking going wild right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Everyone's fucking just uh, taking two shots or drinking two beers and then tagging someone, and it's fucking uh, everyone's doing two, that. Two, that's it? But it has to be big ones. I chugged <laughs> the fucking Jack Daniels yesterday. I seen it. It was good. I know. <laughs> Who did you, who'd you tag? <laughs> this guy and yeah. Alex and Everyone. Angie. I haven't and a done it Scott did it. Scott did it with two bitch ass little know, fucking his shots. Was weak. He has his game, hey, his, his game little set on. His game set up. <laughs> In his words, I'm little fool. Uh, did you see Angie's? <laughs> No. Uh, or to- yeah, Angie posted it with like um, with like Juan Carlos doing it and all the all their people doing it. <laughs> oh, for yeah. real? It's pretty cool. She still hasn't done it. Well, it was supposed to be Tony, but <laughs> well, I told both of them. I was like, you guys both have to do it. Right. Yeah. yeah, let's wrap this thing up. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, folks. Oh my Wash, your, Wash hands. your hands. Wash your hands. Oh, Clean your, your ass. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to fucking disinfect your phone too. Oh, oh yeah. shit! Oh, I haven't done that because that literally negates everything that you do. But while you're looking at your phone, subscribe to Seven One Two Five Media, Seven One Two Five Media dot com, and at Seven One Two Five Media. And uh, video capability is coming soon, guys. Next so week. Hopefully next week. Stay next tuned. Week. And we're out. Bye.